Hello again, this is Thomas from Hotkey404 and this video is a part of mini-series entitled How to install 3CX on and today we will do this on Linux. As we have said in our previous video, 3CX is a professional communication system that right now is available completely for free. And today I will show you how to do an installation of 3CX on Debian Linux. So grab your server and let's get to work. I'll start by saying that you can install Debian Linux on basically anything. It can be a bare metal server, it can be some virtual environment like VMware, Proxmox, Hyper-V, but I will use the simplest one which will be VirtualBox. So I will create this machine, name it hotkey 404 cx test and give it, let's say, 2 gigabytes of RAM and 50 gigabytes for storage. After clicking Create, we will start our machine and hit Escape for boot menu. From the list, we will go with CD and I will mount the CD that I have downloaded from 3CX website. Then in the installer, we will select the first option to install our software and it will take a few seconds to prepare all those necessary components and you will notice that this installer also tries to configure our network adapter. So at the end of this process you will be asked to enter host's name, however there is an important step that is so easy to miss. Before we continue with our host name, we will go back and we want to change the network settings for our adapter because by default it configures your network with DHCP but we want to enter the IP address manually. So we will go with our IP address. If you want you may add prefix. If not it will assume 24 but I will type this anyways. And then we have our gateway and name server I will replace this one with Google's like those aids. Now we can finally continue with our host name. So I will replace this with our hotkey 404.3cx.test. that 3cx.test. I won't be using any domain, so I will just go continue. Then we'll be asked about some local settings. So for example, I will change to Europe and Poland and leave the rest with the defaults. In the next uh, window we will be prompted to type in our password twice and then we will set up partition. So we will use this first guided one, select our disk, for the simplicity we will use entire disk, save our settings and that's it. So we will now have to wait a few minutes for this installation to proceed. After a while, the system will reboot itself and will continue with the installation. So once again, we will speed this up a little bit and we will see a screen. And here we can choose whether we want to install a regular 3CX phone system or a session border controller. We will use the first option and I will explain the second one in later videos. And while this system downloads and installs all those necessary packages for 3CX, in the meantime, it will ask us once if we agree to the license that we for sure really carefully read. And then once again, the system will reboot itself. After the reboot, uh, we will see this nice 3CX logo and we'll be asked whether we want to continue the configuration via web browser or the command line. We will use, of course, option number one and we will see this IP address and this whole link that we need to type in our web browser to continue. Our 36 configuration will be identical to the one we have handled on our Raspberry Pi. So we will start with our 36 phone system license. And if you want to receive your own license, don't try to stop the video and somehow copy mine because first it won't work. And second, it is so easy to grab your own. Just follow the link in the description to this video. 
you'll be redirected to 36 website and here you can easily type your name and email and you will receive your own license and then after copying this license and hitting next you will be asked to provide some registration information you don't see this on my screen because I've already done that and to explain two more details, if you're thinking about this reseller ID, you can type mine right now, leave it empty or maybe fill this later. And if you're thinking about the costs, up to eight concurrent connections, standard edition is completely forever for free. So to continue, we'll now uh, type in our username and for simplicity, I will use admin and some password. In the next step, I will confirm that this is actually my public IP address. If you are uncertain, just Google it. Next, this is a type of your public IP. This is static one. And we'll need to define our unique FQDN. And if it's not unique, do not worry. You'll just receive a short notice that you need to select something else. And to continue, just select your domain group and preferred suffix. Then we have port selection. We will leave all of those as defaults. Just remember to do a correct port forwarding. Then uh, I have just one network adapter, so I will just continue and patiently wait as the system will create all of our certificates. Once this process is finished, we are, I think, at the most important steps of all extension length. You cannot change this later. So if you have just a really small office, stick to maybe just two digits. But if you have 500 and taking into consideration all those system extensions, and maybe you're thinking about expanding twice the size, go with four digits. You won't be able to change this later. I for once will just stick with the default three digits. Next, we'll type our admin email and we will receive all those notifications here. Next, we will select country. I think you won't have a problem with that. And the time zone. And this country will be important for some call reporting and maybe some dialing rules, but we'll discuss this in a second. Then, then we have our extension number and just type your name, last name, your email and voicemail number and I will change this because 999 is an emergency number here so I will change this to 900. Since I've selected Poland I can do some outgoing connections here but if I want to call my neighbors I will select Germany or maybe someone a bit further let's say United Kingdom or you can select here whole regions or even continents. Once you've made this decision, you can click next and we have our system prompt set. And since I'm in Poland, I will just select Polish prompt set. And now we will click next for the last time. And this is this moment of configuring your PBX, creating database, configuring firewall users, all those settings. So it will take a second. We will make this a bit faster. And at the end, we will have a nice congratulations screen and a summary of our main settings. And now the only thing left to do is to click one of the links provided, log in and enjoy your PBX. So that's it. This is how you install 3CX on Debian Linux. We stop here and in the next videos, I will show you how to handle the configuration of firewall and the rest of the services. But for now, have an amazing day. Thank you again for watching and see you in the next one.